And right now, flooding hits hard and fast. After days of heavy rain, roads in North Georgia are covered in water and homes and businesses are flooded. Our Sky Fox drone flew over the town of Helen. You can see the Chattahoochee River there overflowing its banks because of the continuing rain. And it's not just outside. The water has made its way inside homes and businesses, leaving behind a wet, muddy mess. And even the roads are taking a hit. Our Sky Fox drone flew over the sinkhole at the Innsbruck Golf Club, and then it flew down into the hole to bring you a closer look at the damage left behind. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Sine Simpson. Thanks for joining us. Rivers and creeks have been pushed to the brink by day after day of rain, and now they're spilling over their banks and onto the roads. We sent our Sky Fox 5 drone over Helen to show you just what it looks like. Now, Helen is in White County, just south of the headwaters of the Chattahoochee River. It's a big tourist destination about two hours northeast of Atlanta, and that's where we find Fox Size Portia Bruner tonight. Portia? I can tell you that river is moving at a pretty good clip already. It stopped raining for several hours this afternoon, but just started picking up here in the last, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. And you can see here now what I'm not going to do is fall in the Chattahoochee River. But I want to give you a sense of just how high this is. These steps, there are a couple of more would lead sort of into that area where folks go tubing here at Cool River Tubing. But that's not an option. You can see how this uh, river is moving right now. And take a look at what they're doing to sort of get this water out of here, get the mud out of here from earlier today. Fox 5 photojournalist Lloyd Alford will show you this blue hose is what they've been using to sort of get some of the water out of the parking lot, some of the mud out of the parking lot, and then let it flow right into the hooch. I can tell you it's a river everyone is keeping an eye on in this rain. One look at the Chattahoochee from Sky Fox drone, and you can understand how this river can take quite a toll on the small town of Helen, Georgia. It rose real quick. You know, we had a rain, a hard rain from 1030 to 12, and it probably brought the river up three foot, four foot. Terry Sims owns several businesses in town, including Cool River Tubing where the river rose high enough to run straight through the first floor of this establishment. Hopefully it was going to go down and quit raining and not take the building. Well, did it seem that perilous at, at some point? It could have been if it had kept raining. It took a few tools and some elbow grease to clean up all the mud left behind, but they're keeping the sandbags in place just in case. You are genuinely concerned about this rain and the forecast, aren't you? Oh, yes, because underneath uh, all of my condos here, we've got a foot of water. Jerry Evans took us to the condos he owns that sit right along the riverbank. In July and August, it's uh, it's not a foot deep. I mean, it, it's not even moving. It's it is still water. From Sky Fox drone, you can see how that same volume of flooding created just the right conditions for a sinkhole to open up inside the Innsbruck Golf Club. Another reason why almost everyone in Helen is keeping an eye on the sky above and the river below. Another inch today, maybe an inch and a half. But every inch counts in a situation. Uh, well, like this, right? especially right now because an inch of water right now will bring it right back up. And you take a live look here at the Chattahoochee running through Helen. It's really hard to tell on TV, but when you see this up close, it is amazing the power that is moving through this river right now. That's one reason why Terry Sims says he is not recommending any kind of tubing right now, but I can tell you that has not stopped, folks. I saw not even 10 minutes ago uh, folks going down the river at a pretty incredible speed. They look like they were having a good time, but I can tell you folks are not really recommending that considering the volume of rain they had last night, the level of the river right now, and uh, how much higher it continues to go as this rain continues to fall. Reporting live in Helen from White County, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Yeah, it really does sound dangerous, Portia, and for people who haven't gone tubing up there,